Let's go ST here and welcome to Astra Colony. So like you can see in the previous one we didn't get any of these big ones. And yeah, now we got them all. And of course I set up a lot more. But I'm going to say quickly one more thing. I made a mistake in the previous episode and I told yeah the different settings to get enough coal. But I didn't get enough coal after a while. So the best way to do it that I figured it out is two lines in here with the copper. Two ones are taking the iron and a total of a six is just for the carbon and of course two lines for ice like you can see and that's the best way to get everything said and done so this mistake is fixed now sorry for telling you that i didn't get any issues but after a few hours yeah we don't get enough power so that's the best way to do it now and make sure you do it like so if you want to follow along because yeah that's the way i've done it now and after a while i don't need even the coal this will get deleted but for now it's working perfectly so i've changed this a little bit and the view is really nice like you can see i got some windows all the way up we got our logistic chamber in the middle the astronauts will go on top nothing much has changed down here there is a possibility that i'm going to expand this a little bit but it should be fine let's check out the backside so yeah this is the logistic stuff i'm not going to explain a lot of things about that i don't really think it's necessary if you really want to know how i've done this please let me know in the comment then i can try to explain it a little bit but for now i'm going to leave it so of course we got for the, the stuff for the food the tables the entrance for the astronauts we got our study places and of course the sleep chambers and this room will be the spot for all the food that will come in here so this one is the quartz this one is wood like you see this is doing it like this but if you want to do it a little bit faster make sure you get drill on press the left press the left mouse button and then just drill it all the way that's the easiest way and the fastest way to do it all even of course the wheat we will need this to make sure we can cook some more and other stuff look at that how fast this is going crazy all right i need to make sure i'm going to clean everything in here we need to reorganize a little bit all that stuff so what will happen i will bring it all into this one just like so it will sort this out don't mind the calculation about this line it is just going to one spot and another spot it doesn't really matter how you do it but that's the way i have done it so this one will sort everything out that's 50 50 and then of course it will make the hydrotonic so we got some food going on of yeah i think it's more like water or something like that but it's enough to get the astronaut healthy and make sure they don't die all right like you can see it's all gone all the things are cleared we got a lot of space there will be more stuff in between i will grab some more planets but for now this is working fine we got all the resources that we're going to need to start with the rest and of course after cleaning all the stuff the hydrotonics the wood and all the stuff will go onto this line hydrotonic will go upstairs and the rest will be stored in here for now like you can see we got 377 now that's crazy we have more than enough food to make sure the astronauts can survive but before i going to do bring in the astronauts in here let's go make a robot why do i make a robot i don't recommend to use the transport bot because it's a little buggy sometimes but i'm going to make one so i can show you what's going on with this bot after a while we need of course the minor drones the farmers and so on so let's make one just set up one that this one will be finished soon all right there it is there is the bot it will go all the way upstairs so if you don't place the stairs i don't think they can go up there so make sure you get the stairs here they will follow along this line there it comes come little one come come to me now it will do something very strange look at that it will go on the stairs like so and there it goes of 
course it will go to the next stairs okay now this one is going to work it's going to bring all the hydrotonic all the way to this place so this is the table that uh, astronauts can grab the food and all that stuff it's really wonderful look at that it will go up and down we got also the human laboratorium in here of course this is needed i'm not going to make this one uh, that's the engineer science that's the reason why is because we're making this on the other place it's not necessary but we will make the other science like you can see there are already some stuff in there because i set this up downstairs so first of all we need the scientist so like you see it's the specialist it's the blue one we need at least three to make sure this one is working 100 percent so first of all what i like to do is set this one up to the scientist of course this one and then this one we don't need to do anything here this is just a special training option all right so let's bring in some astronauts we got 100 minutes and uh, we got 100 seconds to go let's take one two three and let's say it's fine you only need to set this one up you don't need to do anything else it will come automatically so after 90 seconds they will come and there they are they are arriving all three they will go to the correct place so that's the first reason that i've placed the three of these just to get all three starting and so they will study now the science and just quickly going to explain a little bit about why this is taking a little bit longer than the previous one is because the game is still a little bit of buggy there are some things and sometimes it's crashing it's still an early development but it's really fun to play of course but after a lot of crashes and all that stuff it's still fine it will go to the last place to make sure it will be a scientist all right all three are busy 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 all three will go into the science base like you can see now everything is working that we have set up if the resources are in here they will do the space science the biology science the chemistry science and if you really want you can do the engineering but that's not really necessary also you like you can see it's 100 percent efficiency and like you can see we got 250 percent it's working because three of the three is needed the reason why we're going to need that is because we're going to try to unlock the solar energy I will grab some golden stuff, all the stuff we're going to need the mining and all the tiers will be upgraded. And like you can see I have unlocked a lot of stuff in between. So there are some reasons that I've done this, especially because we will need some more things. So there is one big change that I made, a few big changes that I made. First of all I've made this one. I cleared all of this and make this one to go to the solar panels if we check this one out we got 542 uh, the network load is 39 percent so we got more than enough room and more than enough power we can expand this but this is fine if you want to check this out a little bit we can see it's in the wall this one is in the middle we can walk all the way around and go check out the other side and of course we can go out of here there is also another thing that i've done i've yeah this is i've upgraded all the belts so that's why this one is open you need to make sure this one is like so that's nice and clean the reason why i've upgraded the belt is to speed up all the production you also will unlock after a while the transport pipe you can make it if you want you can use it but i'm not going to use it because it's the same speed as this one and then of course the green belt is much faster the rest will be unlocked after universe 2 and this one universe 3 so for now this is okay got the main storage in here just in case i got a lot of items and the rest will split in here set up of course all the other stuff that we can grab also we have upgraded the advanced smelter how do we get the resources like it see i have done it like so so you can make a blueprint for this or you can build it by yourself place it five in total miners in four rows so we got a total of 20 pieces and then of course we need 40 of these robots the mining robots will automatically grab the resources you can set this up whatever you want or what's on the planet of course 
and how do we know what's on the planet if you go to the scanner or control tree you can scan everything in here like you can see you get uranium you get copper and all that stuff that's the best way to do it normally you should have unlocked this one in the beginning somewhere so it should be a nice feature to use and of course on this line we also are doing this with gold the reason why i've done the gold is because we're going to need it for the solar panels i know i'm skipping a lot of things but there is a reason for that and that's because this episode will take forever then and i want to make sure i show you the things that's really necessary in between do you want more to know please let me know in the comments and of course don't forget to like and subscribe in between it should help me a lot if you want to upgrade this one and you got the resources make sure you press the u button it will automatically upgrade for example i place this one here and i'm going to press the u button like you can see it automatically will upgrade thanks to one person in the comment that told me the option it's really great i really appreciate it so that's the best way to do it and the easiest way it's just the same for all the belts so let's quickly go to one belt that i didn't do maybe i got some resources let's see if i press the u button look at that it will automatically upgrade till you don't have any resources so that's a really nice feature all right i've skipped now a huge part and a really huge part is because i've set also up the saw that we unlocked after a while we got also the radar I got some persons working in here we got our food that's going to be automatically made and it's also going to make bread and bring all the resources in here then of course we got the farming set up so make sure you get some wheat going it will fill up to the max so you need a few i think two or three should be fine to start with set a little bit of a uh, farmland like so and this will automatically work with the correct bots the farmer bots of course for now is just bring in the pipes from there all the way up to here nice and clean and grab it all the way up to this spot also like you can see i have upgraded these machines to the advanced structures the reason why i've upgraded is because if you're going to upgrade this you get get more options to make a lot of stuff so if we're going to check out the tiers that I already got, it's all the way up to here. Even I don't have this one unlocked, but this will be unlocked soon. And it's all the way up to here. It's a little bit of a waiting game to get all the science, but for the rest it's working great. And also if you want to have some fun with these bots, look at that. It will go up and down, up and down, up and down. And it will keep on working till of course nothing is left. Look at that, look at them go. You have some food, oh yeah, it's going to take some hydrotonic, it will go to the table and of course fill his tummy. And this one is still working. Up and down, up and down, up and down, crazy crazy thing. Alright, for the next expansion, like you see, I already made some automatically wood, all that stuff. Still grabbing all the resources, got another planetoid in here and we need to destroy them all or leave them alone already set up everything but i quickly forgot to mention one thing and that's this one so if this one is used you can see on the map you can see it on the left on the bottom like so the red ones that's all the hazards dangers in the universe into space of course and like i can see this one is the black hole this one we will need to go to the next universe also a really nice thing to use are these Bot sparking spots. Make sure that if you got a lot of miners going on, that you set up to the miner or something else what you're going to need. And yeah, I've made a lot. There are some down there. Make sure we got more than enough room. If we're going to stop destroying the planets, then we need to make sure the bots will go to the correct spot. Because if you're going to delete them, yeah, they're gone. You will not get them back all the resource and all the stuff that's gone so that's not really the thing to do i'm going to quickly show you a minor thing that i've made so for example i'm going to place this one here it will not go as perfect as it needs to be but let's say if i place one just for now in here right like you can see these are four in total that's the max that i can place into one thing 
Uh, you can also add another line in here. It's not really necessary, but this is working perfectly also. Just a nice blueprint. Nice, easy to make. It will use the max amount of the solar panels. You will not need anything else. So all the cables and all the stuff you need to transport from one spot to another. That's not necessary if you do it like so. And then of course we got the thrusters. The thrusters is a really great way to travel to a place very fast. So this one is a control panel if we're going to use it. We can check out the movement cam. For example we want to go a little bit closer to the black hole. We can just do it like, not like so. Like so and then we can get a little bit closer. Of course you can go down very fast, you can go up very fast. It's crazy. Make sure you always pass on stop immediately, just in case. You can also set this up to another planet and it will automatically go to that place. The more you place, the faster that you will go. But remember, there will be some floating stuff. So if I'm going to leave, this one will float away. There are some bugs in here that still needs to be fixed, but it's working. And it's really looking nice. Look at that. Of course, this one is totally updated so we can make all the rest. We still need the last one and that's for an unknown item. That's if we go to the universe 2. That's graphene. But for now, it's all fine. This one is totally upgraded. All the stuff is going to make it. It's working fine. Got more than enough resources. So it should work all wonderful. And of course, if you got your high tech science done, we can unlock the Stargate. So all the tiers are unlocked, all the stuff is made. I'm going to set up a little production to make a Stargate. To just to show you how do you need to do it. Just the basic steps. But before I'm going to do that, I will destroy everything. We'll grab all the resources, all the stuff. So let's start working on that. So alright, I set up the few things we're going to need, but of course we need some materials and all that stuff. And I got the laser already done. Yeah, it's not the laser, it's an energy transmitter. So let's go to the wormhole. Alright, that should be close enough. So first of all you need a remote factory, and after a while you need this energy transmitter. But for now let's use this one. We're going to select the wormhole. We can see it's already selected, like you see on the top. Then of course it needs materials. So you need some metal frames, you need some polymer and you need some electronic panels. After you bring in all the stuff you can see it's a little bit bigger and huge now. So yeah, I've been going a little bit closer but it should be fine. Like you can see it will take some time. 8 by 8, 8 in total and of course make sure you get the electric panels and all the stuff in there. But this one is almost done. And alright like you can see it's done, it's all finished but it's not going to work. The reason why it's not going to work is because it does need some power. So if I use this one you can see it's an energy transmitter. If I use it like so, select this one, it will bring in the beam down there. Make sure you get your power enough and that's why I needed to do a little bit of changes. I was thinking yeah I got enough power but yeah like you can see I've built a little bit more just in case. So what I've done I've placed another one to make sure this one is powered up a little bit faster. Like you can see I got also a lot more power and the reason why is I just placed two of these nuclear reactions it's only needing the uranium rods two of these as each one is 100 got more than enough so that's fine so we're going to boost this up all right almost done a little bit more it should be done so there it is it's done it's finished only thing left to do is of course like you can see on the right we need to go travel would you like to take the first station and all docking stations with you so you can leave it behind and use another one if you're going to say okay that's fine let's take it with us you will press yes and we will travel to the next universe all right and that's it we are at the next universe 
but I can see it's a little bit different, a little bit nicer. It's all here. But this will be it for this episode. Of course we can do a lot more, because if you checked it out on your tiers, you think you have done everything. No, 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 look at that. There's some more to go. I can see till we get to the next gate. But this will be it for now. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.